Hey, welcome back and thanks for checking out another video from Hill and Valley. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different and it's our new camera cart. Um, we've wanted one of these for a while now, but we couldn't find one that was a healthy in-between of something that wasn't going to really break the budget, but was also going to be really durable and check all the boxes we need. And that's when we came across this guy, which is the Crane AMG 750. So this cart in specific is one I saw a while ago and I knew that it was the one I, I was going to want because of how modular it is, the price point, and how much stuff we could fit on it. It's specifically designed for like audio and video production, which is exactly what we do. But the issue I was running into is they weren't in stock anywhere, so I actually messaged the manufacturer a few times and kind of like counted them and when they were going to get them in because I know they're trying to come out with a new model. But luckily I found one at Sweetwater um, and was able to order it and I had to piecemeal it so I didn't get it all in one piece. I kind of got the different components, which is another good thing about this cart is you can buy just the um, bottom portion, which is more of like a hand cart. And then we obviously opted to buy these shelves separately, which stack on top and create more of this uh, camera cart setup. We've wanted a cart for a while now because we go on location a lot and we usually end up bringing half of the studio with us. So what we ended up doing was buying a lot of duplicates of things so one can live at the studio and one can go on location. But this kind of saves us that trouble because we're able to keep a lot of the items we need on this cart. So it's kind of like a mobile studio. All of the extension cords, HDMI cables, SDI cables, A clamps, knuckles, all of that like grip and lighting equipment can just live on this cart. And if we need it in studio, we just wheel it right into here into our studio and set up our, our production. And if we need it on location, we could just throw it right in our van and take it to wherever we need to go. Um, another great thing about this cart is this is the all-terrain version, so it has much beefier wheels. It can go through grass and on gravel. Another really great feature about the wheels is that it can spin 360 while standing in place. So it's really easy when you're maneuvering it in a tight place. Usually when we're on set, we like to tuck this into a corner and it kind of becomes like our little director or um, camera station. So it becomes like our home base. And that makes it a lot easier having the ability to turn the wheels like that for us to fit into a little corner or um, tuck it into a space that you might not be able to get another cart in. So one thing we opted for was to pick up these extra hooks. And I think we're actually gonna get a few more because they're really useful for if you wanna put like light stands. So now our light stands can come with us. We can fit like two C stands on these hooks. And I think I'm gonna get two more on the other side so we can bring like a light stand or a boom pole. Usually when we're shooting on location, we're bringing at least one to two C stands as well as an additional light stand um, because we like to be able to have multiple lights as well as uh, we often need a stand for our, our boom microphone. Another thing we added to uh, this cart, which is something we previously had, was a Robo Cup. It's Rick's favorite, so when you're on set um, watching the monitor, you can have a place to put your drink because no drinks are allowed on this cart because this is where we build cameras and put our very expensive cameras, obviously. Another thing I added personally was I saw from DSLR Video Shooter, he kind of like super clamped a, uh, a center column of a light stand to create this like monitor stand instead of buying a super expensive version of it. This works great and you can see your little monitor lives there. So now it's not taking up extra real estate on top of the cart and we're able to have a uh, director station. Yeah, we bungee a bunch of gaff tape and different kinds of tapes and bongo ties and um, safety cables just onto the cart, which is great to have a place where everything can live. That way when we are heading out the door, we don't have to worry about that one small thing we forgot. We already know that it's on the cart. And that's why we like to keep it set up like this with all of our modifiers ready to go, or at least our most used modifiers. So any sort of general like interview shoot, we're able to show up with just this, this cart and everything that's on this cart and we know we're good to go. We have all the proper cables, clamps, um, all the little accessories that we're going to need will live on this cart. So as you can see down below, we have a lot of our lighting equipment on this side, including two 300 watt lights, a Fresnel, uh, two big soft boxes, and we also keep some sound blankets or moving blankets on here just in case we run into issues with audio on location. And then our director's monitor actually lives in this little doctor's bag down here with all of its accessories, including the wireless transmitter and receiver, batteries. Um, and then we just keep a nice big crate on here full of different types of XLR cables, HDMI cables, SDI cables, and some clamps and knuckles, like super clamps and A clamps, just your general stuff you'll probably need on set when you're setting up an interview. So as you can see, this cart can just spin right in place. The wheels also lock, which is a great feature for when you're on a hill or on set outside, you don't want your cart rolling away. 
We also added these nice big bags that Crane sells extra um, onto the cart. They just strap right onto the cart and that way we can keep even more equipment in here. Right now we have some reflectors and gels. Just more space to make sure that we're keeping everything on this cart that we're going to need in a pinch and that way we won't forget anything. So this thing has been one of our probably best investments in the last two or three years. Um, it's something we talked about for a long time, but it was a big investment. I think it was like $1,200 just for this cart alone, which is pretty reasonable considering a lot of its competitors go for three to four times that. Um, but this one did everything we need. It's a great size, it fits in our van. So if you're thinking about getting a cart, I would say this one's definitely a worthwhile investment. It's been a time saver and a lifesaver for us to just have everything packed up and ready to go and easy to transport basically our whole studio because at this point we don't really do many shoots that don't involve this much equipment um, just because we like to have that, that uh, level of production for every shoot we do. All right, well that about does it for this video. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll have a link to the cart and everything we mentioned down below in the description. And if you like videos like this, please give this one a like and subscribe and we'll definitely be making more content like this.